Palestinian officials say the wife and infant child of Hamas's military commander died in an Israeli airstrike after fighting resumed Tuesday. After nine days without incident, it didn't take long for the conflict to reach pre-ceasefire levels. Israel accused Hamas of breaking the ceasefire early, which led Israeli officials to withdraw from peace talks in Egypt and the Israel Defense Forces to resume airstrikes. According to multiple outlets, some of those strikes were targeting Hamas military commander Mohammed Daif. We've been told that this big pile of rubble behind me over here was the house of relatives of Muhammad Daif. His wife and baby child are understood to be among those who were killed here. That was just one of dozens of airstrikes Israel carried out against Hamas targets in response to more than 80 rocket attacks the IDF says militants have launched from Gaza since the end of the ceasefire. The IDF was unable to confirm whether the strike killed Daif and Hamas officials said he is alive and well. So why is the Israeli military are you so desperate to kill Dave? Well, aside from his suspected involvement in terrorist attacks in Israel, Haaretz writes it would have been a morale boost. From the perspective of Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, the attempt to assassinate Daif had one main goal, to give Israelis a cause for rejoicing. Still, some argue killing Daif could have been counterproductive. A writer for the Times of Israel argues if this symbol of Hamas has been killed, Hamas would feel the political need to escalate the fighting with a harsh response. Thus, the likelihood of a truce or an arrangement in the coming days would be zero. The talks in Cairo look to have collapsed, with Israel withdrawing its representatives and spokesperson Mark Regev tweeting, We won't negotiate under fire. There cannot be talks in Cairo if they are shooting rockets at our people. One of those rockets reportedly hit a house in southern Israel on Wednesday afternoon, although no casualties were reported. For Newsy, I'm Sebastian Martinez.